it was a great day to get out and do something. I have a feeling along with me, a lot of people are going to be nursing sunburns tomorrow, <laughs> but we're going to be doing it dodging raindrops, right? I mean, the temperatures went up and so did the sales for the aloe vera. Yes, exactly. I, is that a correlation yeah. there? Yes. <laughs> for the first time when it gets this warm, it feels like summer. Well, the rest of your evening, at least we are staying dry. And then we're going to bottom out somewhere around 60 degrees for tomorrow morning. And it looks like tomorrow we're going to be going back into the low 80s. But that's only going to last really for the afternoon. And then we can say goodbye to the 80s because we're tracking this one system currently off to the west. This is going to contain some storms that will impact us for tomorrow evening. In fact, we are underneath a marginal risk, which is a one out of five on the severe weather scale for areas north and west of Pittsburgh. So let's go ahead and show you what we have with the latest future cast. So you're dry as you're leaving out the door tomorrow for the beginning of your Monday. Very warm temperatures in the low 60s will go to the low 80s in the afternoon. As we push more to the evening commute, this is where we're going to have to start watching for the pop up of some of these storms. So between about six to eight o'clock, that's when we're going to see the onset of it starting to cross over into PA. But this line of storms could potentially develop a Head of the cold front and be a little bit strong in a few locations. So this will be passing through around sunset. So it moves from west off to the east. So if you live further east, this is going to be impacting you more towards the after sunset hours. And with this cold front, temperatures will drop like a rock. In fact, we're going to go from the 70s ahead of the cold front. Once it passes through with those storms, we're going to fall quickly into the 50s. But the rain and storms should be out of here by the time you wake up on Tuesday. It will be much chillier with temperatures in the 40s and in the afternoon on Tuesday becoming partly sunny and temperatures around 60 degrees. So tomorrow, the only place that we're looking at that isn't going to get impacted nearly as much as the rest of our region is probably the laurels and ridges. However, like I said, in areas north and west of Pittsburgh, this is you really need to be weather aware. Everyone does have the chance to see some storms, but in terms of potential severe weather, that's what we're looking at, mainly north and west of Pittsburgh. So heavy rain is going to be possible. A few other things that we're looking out, I'd say it's low for the hail. And of course, we always say low to near none for tornado because we can never say zero. But flooding, I would say, is a low since this is a short lived time frame of th these storms. And then wind is going to be the main concern that we have. And if we do happen to have a severe storm, we could have wind gusts possibly up to 60 miles per hour. So tonight, 60 degrees. Tomorrow, low 80s in the afternoon, increasing clouds. Storms will be coming in into the evening. And so it will be really warm. And then we drop just in time for your Tuesday and then even more leading into Wednesday. High of only 50 chance for a few frosts and freezes for Thursday and also Friday morning. And then this upcoming weekend for the marathon, we're tracking rain on Sunday.